consequence of the West and above all Sweden's immigration policies that the economy will collapse. Because who is going to pay for it all? Increasing taxes on wage earners in Sweden to pay for the influx of illegal immigrants is not enough. In August, Finance Minister Magdalena Andersson said the government is looking at borrowing large sums of money from the European Investment Bank to pay for illegal immigration. Why has one government after another chosen to spend Swedish taxpayers' money to support and shelter citizens of other countries while some of them try to kill us? Asked Ingrid Karlvist after a Swedish woman and her son were stabbed to death at an IKEA store in Vastras, Sweden by Abraham Ukba Gabir. An illegal immigrant, Ukba Gabir, said he lost control after learning he was going to be deported to Italy. He killed an innocent woman and her son to make people understand him. Prior to the murders, Sweden's third largest city, Malmo, experienced ethnic violence between groups of immigrants. The gangs described as youths by the Swedish media used guns, bombs, and hand grenades to mark their turf. In August, the Swedish Migration Board, Migrations Verget, recorded almost as many reports of threats and violence in asylum accommodation as throughout the whole of 2014, according to Swedish newspaper Dagens Nyetter. In Sweden, which does not usually report the nationality of rapists, a just-released study by Swedish police revealed that Muslim men, who constitute only 2% of the population, are responsible for 77.6% of rapes, giving once peaceful Sweden the highest rape rate in Europe and the second highest in the world, next to South Africa. Currently, illegal immigrants are being housed in former royal mansions, and Sweden is building housing for the chaotic violent army taking over and raping their own country. Ultimately, I want to see every single woman in this country covered from head to toe. I want to see the hand of the thief cut. I want to see adulterers stoned to death. I want to see Sharia law in Europe, and I want to see it in America as well. John Bowne for Infowars.com. Did you know that only six corporations control 90% of what millions of Americans see, hear, and read every single day? It's the illusion of choice. Think about it. The mainstream media is owned by only a handful of mega corporations with vested interests. But on the other hand, the internet is an interconnected network of billions of sources. So you can research information for yourself from multiple sources, or you can blindly accept what you hear or read in the mainstream media, never questioning what you are being told. This gives you a false sense of reality. I mean, do you actually know what you think you know? Or have you been programmed to accept someone else's version of events? Think about it. This is Darren McBreen, and I want you to break the matrix at Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.tv. Your liver can be full of fatty deposits, built up toxins, and even dangerous objects known as liver stones. We worked with the top developers in the field of detox to take tried and true herbs and other compounds known to safely cleanse the liver and fuse it with the latest research and technological development on concentrating these ingredients to give you the maximum effect. Liver Shield is the only liver support product on the market that uses a patented Spigerex blend of powerful organic herbs that support detoxification. And when you visit InfoWars Life, See the instructional video on how to do a six-day liver detox. This isn't a game, and let me tell you, the results are dramatic. Liver Shield is totally organic and made of the safest high-quality herbs. But that said, you need to consult your physician before you do the full detox. Liver Shield can also be used daily by itself for overall upkeep of the liver. Secure your Liver Shield today exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com for the lowest price available. That's InfoWarsLife.com or call 888-253-3139. Brain force is here. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been on this the last few months. You probably noticed I've been more crazed, more focused, less brain fog, more energy, more special reports, and it's because of brain force. One of the worst things with most energy products is it's not sustainable, right? You're gonna crash and gonna feel really bad afterwards. This has a bunch of different antioxidants and compounds and polyphenols. Everybody's on these drugs to knock their brain out because the brain's so fried. 
We kept changing this formula over and over and over again until it became sort of a grand puzzle. For example, the L-theanine inside of it, that is activated by the different compounds in the yerba mate that we put inside of it as well. This just increases the compounds you already have. This is what you're actually designed to run on. Exactly. It's kind of like a car will run on one form of junkie gas, but it runs really good on what it's designed for. You will find Brain Force, Survival Shield X2, and other game-changing products at InfoWarsLife.com or call 888-253-3139. And it's that type of behavior that spurred me to do the research to develop a true nutraceutical formula that was designed to smooth out and help children focus. All of our children are hit with modern mind control. Television, music, fast food, GMOs, sugars, you name it. Young humans have not yet developed their nervous system and are being hammered daily by globalist concoctions. It's no wonder they can't focus and calm down and then are put on dangerous psychotropic drugs. Working with my team, we set out to find the best formula with the highest quality ingredients that children would actually like and take. We worked with the leading manufacturer in nutritional supplements that are safe for children to bring you the most affordable and powerful calming formula out there. Introducing Child Ease with herbs and calming extracts like chamomile and lemon balm and essential nutrients that taste great. Obtain your Child Ease today at InfoWarsLife.com. That's Child Ease exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com. Knockout is back. If you want a product that has 10 known ingredients that naturally get your body to relax, your brain to relax, so you get deep, restful sleep, knockouts it. InfoWarsLife.com. L-theanine, hops flower extract, lemon balm extract, valerian root extract, chamomile flower extract, L-tryptophan extract, melatonin, and more. All organic, all the natural sources. It's the same price as leading brands of melatonin that are three milligrams a piece. It has three milligram, the standard recommended dose for an adult. It's got the GABA. So it would probably cost $50 to take all this as separate pills. It's $19.95. You take one or two of these, and it just is really clean, restful sleep is what the reviews are. It's what I've experienced. And it just synergistically puts everything in there. InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com. Or call 888-253-3139. Robots, cyborgs, and life extension technology. These terms are familiar to any fan of science fiction. But now, to some disbelief, these technologies are a science reality. In part one of this report, we expose some startling connections between 19th and 20th century secret societies, their occult technological experiments, and the emerging automated prison society that is rapidly descending upon us. In part two, we look at a possible motivation for the elite who are financing this emerging new world, a world whose construction started centuries ago. In April of 2000, Wired Magazine published an article, Why the Future Doesn't Need Us. It was written by Sun Microsystems co-founder Bill Joy. In it, he quotes Ray Kurzweil's book, The Age of Spiritual Machines. If the elite are ruthless, they may simply decide to exterminate the mass of humanity. If they are humane, they may use propaganda or other psychological or biological techniques to reduce the birth rate until the mass of humanity becomes extinct, leaving the world to the elite. What makes this article and quote even more interesting than one tech pioneer quoting another is the footnote at the bottom of the article. The passage Kurzweil quotes is from Ted Kaczynski's Unabomber Manifesto, which was published jointly, under duress, by the New York Times and the Washington Post to attempt to bring his campaign of terror to an end. Why would tech industry leaders go out of their way to quote Kaczynski's Unabomber Manifesto in not one but two separate publications? Well, for those of you who skip past the 35,000-word manifesto that appeared in both the New York Times and Washington Post on the morning of September 22, 1995, there were some very telling things printed on those pages. Within his article, Joy himself writes about the quote, I am no apologist for Kaczynski. His bombs killed three people during a 17-year terror campaign and wounded many others. Kaczynski's actions were murderous and, in my view, criminally insane. He is clearly a Luddite, 
but simply saying this does not dismiss his argument. As difficult as it is for me to acknowledge, I saw some merit in the reasoning in this single passage. I felt compelled to confront it. We at InfoWars share a similar point of view as Joy about the manifesto. Like Bill Joy, we do not consider ourselves Luddites. We often discuss humanity's fate traveling the stars. However, we also recognize that some of the words written within Ted Kaczynski's text shouldn't be simply dismissed as writings of a madman, but should be given special attention and careful thought. Before he was the Unabomber, Kaczynski was considered a child prodigy and he was accepted into Harvard College at the age of 16. He was among 22 students who were research subjects in what has been described as brutalizing psychological experiments conducted by Henry Murray and rumored to be part of the MK Ultra program. Kaczynski was an eyewitness to some of the most cutting edge technological experiments of his day. It seems reasonable that Kurzweil, Joy, and others might be interested to see what insights he reveals in his writings. Kaczynski's manifesto touches upon a wide range of subjects, including this one in paragraph 157, where he writes, It has been established beyond any rational doubt that human thought and behavior have a largely biological basis. As experimenters have demonstrated, feelings such as hunger, pleasure, Anger and fear can be turned on and off by electrical stimulation of appropriate parts of the brain. Memories can be destroyed by damaging parts of the brain, or they can be brought to the surface by electrical stimulation. In that last phrase, Kaczynski accurately describes experiments dealing with mind control technology. These mind control experiments weren't isolated in elite university labs. They were conducted on a large portion of the population oftentimes within the military. Secretary of Energy O'Leary during the Clinton administration admitted over a half a million Americans were used as experimental guinea pigs for various programs. Many, many of them, um, military personnel, um, as well as, as other people that really didn't have the right or ability to speak up for themselves. Tech journalist Dr. Nick Begich has been covering the subject of mind control technology for more than 25 years. The idea of using uh, mind control techniques in modern warfare, this is uh, the direction in which we're, we're headed. Being able to manipulate uh, governments, uh, populations in a way that avoids the, the direct conflict but creates the same outcome, which is a pacified uh, society. Begich reminds us that the experiments and development of technology geared towards the controlling of the human mind has never ceased and that there can be serious consequences if this technology gets into the wrong hands. This is the direction in which uh, much of our military technology is headed today, because the idea is if you can direct and control the internal workings of the, of the human mind, of the brain itself, not only for communication or manipulation of our own troops, but for the degradation of our adversaries. And, and yet you don't create the kind of property damage that modern warfare uh, generally create. So you're able to manipulate the entire populations or great segments of the population uh, for political um, or military ends. Brainwashing and mind reading devices seem like something directly out of a fictional novel. Yet this technology isn't even cutting edge anymore. Universities have been researching mind control systems for decades, including the technology to wipe one's memory, exactly as described by Kaczynski in his manifesto. In fact, some of this research is being now conducted so-called for the benefit of veterans because of uh, traumas experienced during uh, war, uh, the, the results of those traumas. And the idea is just to be able to wipe memory. In other words, looking at veterans, returning veterans with post-traumatic stress syndrome and being able to go in and sort of wipe out those memories that are giving them the problems. In the 1950s and 60s, Dr. Jose Delgado pioneered mind implant technology using mostly animal subjects and, controversially, some human subjects as well. Delgado's research included the insertion of electrodes into the brain. He discovered that certain electrical frequencies can significantly control behavior and emotions. In 1963, Delgado conducted an experiment involving an implanted bull. Using a radio controller, Delgado caused a charging bull to come to a complete halt.
During an interview about the experiment, Delgado shared his vision of how the future will be. He said, we must electronically control the brain. Someday, armies and generals will be controlled by electrical stimulation of the brain. Due to a lawsuit launched by a few of the human implant subjects, Delgado decided to leave the United States 